I'm going to show you how to get started selling items on the Second Life Marketplace using magic boxes. Do note that hopefully <laughs> soon they will die. They will go the way of the dodo. But since having help to show you the series of very visual steps is better than having no help at all, that's why I made this video. So hope it helps you. This, I will presume that you've already made stuff that you want to sell and you've put it inside a box, each item inside a box so each product will show up on the marketplace. Now I have this test, we'll do a test with just one and you can continue to scale that. But for the sake of illustration, let's go on over now, switch to my web browser and we're here at marketplace.secondlife.com. We'll want to sign in right here. So go ahead and enter in your login goodies. Do, 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 do and log in okay okay now on the left hand side to get a magic box it still says x to sell that was the name of the old web-based marketplace which is going to be gone like magic boxes eventually but for now let's click there and we don't need this fancier one so just go for the regular x street sl magic box Let's go ahead and buy that now. Okay, and continue. And let's place our order. Go to scroll down here and place our order. Now this can take a while. If it doesn't show up right away, just be patient. Give it a while. It should be quicker, quicker in the future. Ah, that felt like forever. So here we go. You get this notification. Make sure to keep it okay. Now, in your inventory, notice it appears right here. If you don't see it, if object isn't open, another way you, is you can go to recent right here and it should appear at the top of or near the top of objects right here. So make sure this is open. And then you'll want to res this. You want to put the magic box on land that a parcel that you own or otherwise has relative degree of permanence because if the magic box is not in the world, it can't sync, it can't connect to the web, and you can't sell anything. Your items, your item listings will break. You don't want that. So make sure to put it somewhere where it's going to stay put. Just click and drag, and then we'll res it right here. It'll tell you this stuff. All right. So what you do now is go back to your inventory. You can right-click the magic box and choose Edit. And here in the content tab, don't touch those scripts, but here's what, where you want to put the stuff that you want to appear on the website under your storefront. So click and drag this right into the contents and they're probably full permissions items because you made them, right? <laughs> so let's drag that. Okay. And just let it be. And this tutorial, I'm just showing you start to finish. So I'm cutting out time lapses where things take too long. So let's fast forward a bit. Ah, that felt like forever too. As historically useful as magic boxes have been, I am gonna be so relieved when we have a better way. Let's go back to our web browser. And because you've already, following the earlier steps, signed in, you can now go to Marketplace, my Marketplace up here, and go to Merchant Home. I already have some stuff set up and just ignore it. So eventually you wanna be familiar with all these categories. For now though, you can check to see what's really connected, magic box status. Just wait for the new tab to pop open here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's dying out, so that'll, that'll be obsolete. So it tells us, okay, this is the one I set up before, and this is the new one that I just set up that you watched. Okay, so I don't associate inventory. You notice right there, that's that test object that we just put in. So let's just close that tab and let's go to manage inventory. Starting with example of a single item. If things aren't showing up as you would expect them to, this button, sync magic place with marketplace with magic boxes will come in handy. Okay, so what we want to go to now is unlisted 
and this should show the test object to appear in marketplace as expected. Good. <laughs> if that screwed up, I'd be like, what? Okay. So now we can go ahead and create an item listing. And from here, this is where you will use your best judgment to enter in. It's good to have all the stuff ready beforehand. Your images, the item price that you had in mind. I keep a text editor open and I keep, uh, I save the files outside of, outside of here. So I always have a backup. And I also, when Photoshop, it helps to have all your preparatory, preparatory, oh, I don't know what the word is, but have those files ready in a folder so that you can neatly copy and paste them right into here. But for now, just go test. Just this is just a test. So only these fields are required and it's not mature. We would just skip a bunch, but a bunch of these you really should fill out. Okay. So just choose a category. I'm just showing you just how it works. This is completely abstract. <laughs> and we're pretty much done. And when you are really filled out all that goodness, then go to update. Okay. And then now what you'll want to do is that the information has been filled out. So now you can list it. So click on list here and it should appear right under. Okay, good. It's being listed. So we can preview what it looks like, what it will look like to potential customers. Of course, you want to fill in the rest of this stuff. And there's further help on wiki.secondlife.com. So make sure to check it out. And that's the start to finish of how to use the magic boxes until <laughs> they die. <laughs> Hope this helped you out.